Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 4, Problem Set. So we have two uh, charts or tables set up here. Um, we're going to be building subtraction equations using indicated equations. And the indicated equations are going to be right here in this second part, second piece of the table. Um, that's going to tell us what the divisor, and just as a quick refresher, and I'll do the first one uh, up here, to label it. Uh, this is the dividend. That's the number being divided. Uh, this variable in this place, but it would be uh, a number, is the divisor. That's the number dividing into the dividend. So that's uh, going to be either uh, how many groups we're trying to find or the size of the group and we'll talk about that in a second and this last one uh, is the quotient and that's the answer to a division problem so th that's some background knowledge that we need to have going into this um, so if we look at this first table I'll do two from this table and two the same questions down below to show you the difference but we see that in in this table up above, the divisor indicates the size of the unit, meaning um, not the number of groups, but how many are in each group. And I'm going to show you a quick uh, one just to show, if I did 6 divided by 2 equals 3, um, if this were indicating the size of uh, the divisor is indicating the size of the unit. So that would mean that each unit has two. So there's three groups of two. Now, down below, it says divisor indicates the number of units. So um, if we're talking about the number of units, it really means the number of groups. So for that same question, 6 divided by 2, if we were talking about uh, the number of units, it would be 2 groups, not 2 in each group. And I know that that seems a little confusing at first, but once we go through uh, one or two of these questions, you'll see. I just wanted to clear up the difference between the size of the unit and the number of units. So... Uh, we want to show this uh, doing repeated subtraction because that's what we're doing, building subtraction equations. So we have 24 and we're going to subtract off. And when we're subtracting off um, size of units, we're trying to figure out how many are inside of each of those uh, four units. And so we're subtracting off x four times. I'm going to run out of space here. And when I subtract off all four of those x's, and where did I get four x's? I know I have x that I sub I'm subtracting four times. I know that it's going to eventually be zero, because that's what division is. We're, we're trying to equally divide out or fair share these out till we have none left. So my tape diagram for this, um, I know and I'll put it in each of my partition here in a second. But I know I'm breaking it apart into four, because that's where my four comes from. And now if I know my facts, I know that four groups of what will equal 24. And that's going to be six. Because um, I know if I subtract 6 4 times from 24, I'm going to get 0. So I can either draw these in. And then I'm going to circle my groups of... Uh, my 4 groups. So... Uh, what does x equal? It equals the size of the unit. So inside of one of these units that I circled. 
there's six. So I'll move down to number four, uh, 30 divided by y equals five. And again, I know that I'm doing 30, and I'm going to do repeated subtraction because, again, I'm making a subtraction equation. And I'm going to subtract off five y's. And I know that when I divide out, I want it to get evenly to zero because I'm trying to fair share. I'll try to make those more like subtraction signs. So if I'm going to draw this, this whole amount is 30, and I need to break it into or partition this into five equal parts because that's how many y's I subtracted away. And I'm trying to find what each of these units represents. And I, if I know uh, five groups of something gets me 30, I can solve this. So five groups of six. So really there'll be six inside of here. And I'm not going to partition this out because it's a little small. Uh, but y is going to then equal my size of one group, which is six. So it's the same answer as above. Now, we're going to take a look further down at this next table, and we'll see the difference here. Because um, now, the divisor, my x, indicates the number of units. So we're trying to find how many groups of 4 make 24. So I'm still going to do a subtraction equation. So now I'm just going to keep subtracting off 4s, until I get to zero. And right above it, I'm going to write what my subtraction. So 24 minus 4 gets me 20. 20 minus 4 gets me 16. You don't have to do this, but this just helps me out a little bit. So I'm writing above it what I'm, go what I'm doing, how I'm getting to my next number. So I see that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I got 0. So I know already that x equals 6 because that's the number of 4s or the number of groups of 4 uh, that I need to subtract off to get to 0. And again, I showed my subtraction at the top. Um, so my tape diagram... And I can partition, I can count off by uh, my four, so two, three, that's four right there, that's one group, and then I'll do another four, and that's a second group, that's a third group, that's a fourth group, that's a fifth group, and that's my sixth group, so six groups of four will equal 24. Very similar to the one that we had up above, except now we're not subtracting off the variable. We're subtracting off the 4 until we get to 0, and then the number of 4s that we used is going to be our answer. Same thing down below. We'll, we'll take a look at uh, number 4 here, and we're going to start with 30, and we're going to just start subtracting off 5s, because uh, we're trying to find how many groups of 5 will get us to 0. So if I do that, and again, I'm going to write up above what I'm getting when I'm subtracting off. And you'll see that I'm going to get down to 0 using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So y equals 6, because 6 groups of 5 get me 30. And again, I can come through, and I can draw my tape diagram, and I know this is 30. And I know if I take off 5, so one group of 5 right here. 
and then I have another group of five and another group of five that's five ten fifteen twenty and I'll put my five in there but that's twenty and that's twenty five my last group is another five which will get me thirty so five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty so I'm showing six groups of five there up above I showed five groups of six so that's just showing how uh, the, di the different ways that these uh, subdivision problems kind of work together whether you're looking for the number of units or the uh, size of the unit we would say um, hope this helps and good luck on your problem set